Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to Train of Thoughts. Uh, my name is Trey, and this is where I share my thoughts on the Winnipeg Jets. First off, to those watching in the U.S., um, happy Columbus Day. To those watching in Canada, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, hope everyone has a great day, whether you're just enjoying a day off or whether um, you're just celebrating uh, Thanksgiving with family or friends. Um, hope hope it's a great day. Um, hope the Jets game that we're about to talk about doesn't uh, um, create a bitterness or whatever since they, they got slaughtered last night. Just kidding. Um, but yes, uh, on to that Jets game. The Jets got beat by the Pittsburgh Penguins at home 7-2. to It was not pretty, to, to say the least, and that's kind of why I waited till this morning to do this, because I didn't really know what to say last night. Um, so if you look at the stats, they're, they're not pretty. I was looking at the plus minuses, um, as I always say, you know, those can, can be iffy, but there's a lot of negative threes, fours, and fives on the the Jets end, especially from some um, some of their, their big names. Um, so a little bit of a bummer, but um, it, it was just one game. And I know that Coach Maurice, after the game, said, you know what? It really just wasn't our, our night tonight. There were some funky bounces that didn't go the Jets' way. There were some funky bounces that didn't go Pittsburgh's way, but there was a lot of weird bounces. I know that um, you know players and coaches were, were talking about it. Um, the TV broadcast was talking about it a little bit. I listened to a little bit of the, the radio in, in between periods, and they were calling it, the radio was calling it pinball hockey. Um, just with some of the weird bounces. Um, the, the Jets scored the first goal of the game, which was a positive, something that they hadn't done in the first six games, but it was also kind of like, well, they've won four out of their first six games not scoring first, so now let's see how they, they do scoring first. Um, and the lead didn't last too, too long, and um, Pittsburgh kind of took over after that. Um, and, and that first goal that the Jets scored was one of those pinballs. Um, Matthew Perot just went into the corner and fired a really sharp angle shot. Um, and it bounced off a defenseman and went right into to the net. So, um, yeah, so I'm tr trying to look at some, some takeaways, um, from the the game and um I I just the biggest thing is don't want to freak out and go oh man this defense um oh man our power play I mean we're seven games in into the season there's still a lot of time um yes there there was a lot of stuff that needs to be cleaned up um, I think probably the most concerning is that the Jets, um, for the second game in a row, gave up a shorthanded goal, and they've given up a few of those this year, not just in the last two games. I think they've given up at least three, maybe four short shorthanded goals this year. Um, so that that's something that, that will be worked on. Um, power play, I know that they're trying a lot of new wrinkles, um, so that, that will get worked on. Um, another thing was, uh, at the end of the game, they put, uh, Nick Ehlers back on that top line with, um, Wheeler and Shifley. And I think that's a good call, and you could say, well, Nick does so many good things on the second line to help create plays. Well, my thought is if he's, I don't want to take away from the rest of the team and have a really spectacular top line and not have anything um, elsewhere, but uh, Wheeler and Shifley play with a lot of speed and really try and push the, the issue. And Nick Ehlers is perfect for that because he's so fast and he, um, 
his speed is his greatest weapon and um he is so much fun to watch when, when he just grabs the puck and just flies down the ice i think he, he drew at least two penalties last night um so that was was big um so that's a lot of what, what i would have to say re regarding the the game uh the jets are back in action tomorrow night against arizona um so so that will be interesting um totally different style of play from uh, the other teams that they've played this year um so hopefully the the jets can come out and pull out a w they're on a nice long homestand right now so hopefully some nice home cooking will help them out and um yeah so i, I want to know what what your thoughts are um you know not only about what your holiday plans or day off plans were for today um but also what you you think about the the game the team etc um so if you want to do that great um if you like this video hit like if you really like it hit that subscribe button um appreciate the support thanks for watching and have a great day i'll talk to you later